hey guys welcome to my channel if this is your first time here thank you so much for stopping by please do not forget to hit that red button that says subscribe subscribe and join the family and to my already existing family members thank you all for always tuning back in you guys are amazing so today we are cooking chicken stew chicken stew guys look at this deliciousness right here if you want to know how i prepared this chicken stew please keep watching and also do not forget to share so we need six fresh ripe tomatoes and i will be adding a can of diced tomatoes but normally i go with just the fresh tomatoes whenever i am cooking my chicken stew but right now i do not have enough fresh tomatoes at home so the diced tomatoes still works perfectly well but if you want to use just the fresh tomatoes make sure you use 12 of these and of course we cannot cook chicken stew without using some chicken so right here i have my hot chicken and guys i can't really tell how many pounds this is because my sister actually got this for me and on the pack i could not see the measurement so let me just bring it closer so that you can see and estimate the quantity of chicken to use and I am using the hard chicken I still have to clean this guys I still have to clean it because I don't know if you can see this very well I don't like eating chicken and I see these feathers look at that so I have to clean this chicken very well i'll be using six cloves of garlic an inch of ginger and right here i have my celery root i didn't cut this or peel it off because i wanted to show you guys what it looks like so this is the celery root i will be using half of this i love adding celery root to my chicken stew it adds to the flavor i also have one red onion and i'm going to add in one red bell pepper this is to help with the coloring i love when my stew is red okay so i'm going to use one green bell pepper as well half a teaspoon of white pepper parsley i'm going to use all of this for the stew and i also have some basil one large carrot and i will be using some leeks as well so i brought out this whole quantity to show you what it looks like and I'm just going to take off just like a leaf from this and you so just keep watching and you're going to to see and lastly I have a cup of vegetable oil six seasoning cubes and salt to taste let's go over to the kitchen and start cooking And I always love using hot chicken for my chicken sauce because it brings out that sweetness. It adds to the sweetness of the sauce, guys. And the method in which I cook my chicken sauce requires you to use the hot chicken. But if you do not like the hot chicken, you can go with the soft chicken but you have to fry that i always use the hot chicken because i do not fry it i love 
to eat fresh chicken in my chicken stew not the fried one just the cooked boiled one okay so our chicken is all cleaned up and we are going to add in four seasoning cubes so guys i always put in more seasoning cubes and salt to my chicken because of the method the way i prepare my chicken stew so I love putting this more so that it gets into the chicken so I'm adding in one teaspoon of salt I'm going to chop half of this and add to my chicken And what you have to do next is to give this a nice mix. So I'm just going to cover this and let it boil for five minutes. And while it's boiling, I will prep our tomatoes. So we are done with our tomatoes. Let's check our chicken. So if you noticed, I didn't add any water to my chicken and that is because we do not need water guys. Just put your chicken and add your seasoning so that it can marinate well. When you add water to it, the maggi and the salt doesn't really get into the chicken. And also, I did not add water in my tomatoes before blending. And reason being that the tomatoes produces water and the water from the tomatoes is enough for it to blend. So right now, I'm just going to pour in my tomatoes and I'll just try to get as much as I can and I'm just going to let my tomatoes cook for about 20 minutes and while it's cooking i'll go ahead and prep the other ingredients so we'll have to boil our carrot guys the first time i tried adding carrot to my chicken stew since then i don't cook chicken stew without adding some carrots to it because it's a game changer trust me it is a game changer I'm going to add in some water and boil this for 10 minutes I'll let our carrot boil for 10 minutes while I continue to prep the other ingredients
and I'm going to add half of my green bell pepper so this other half I'm going to reserve it and use it later on for the stew so I always just add this to the stew it brings out that flavor And I'm going to use just this quantity of leeks. This is the size of the celery root that I'm going to use. I mentioned earlier that I will be using half bread. I don't think it's up to half. I think that's like one, one quarter. Please make sure not to use like too much of this because it whitens your soup. So this is okay. I will just set this aside and wait for our carrot to get ready. And guys, the reason why I boiled my carrot is to ease the blending process if you blend it without boiling it for 10 minutes or so you will get like the chaffs and I'm adding in half a cup of water and our chicken has been cooking for 20 minutes look at that guys Remember I told you not to add water to your chicken and not add water to your tomatoes because it produces a lot of water and if you add more water to the tomatoes or the chicken, the cooking process is going to take longer because you have to wait for that water to get dry. So I'm going to add in my blended spices and the blended carrot so i'm just going to give this a taste Guys, this is already giving me the vibes. I'm just going to add more of the seasoning cubes. And I'll add in one more teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to give this a nice mix. Ooh, and now I'm going to add in my half green bell pepper. Just make sure that goes into the soup. Cover this and let it cook for another 10 minutes while I chop my parsley and my basil.
So let's check our stew and see how it's cooking. Ooh, look at that, guys. And trust me guys, once you add some carrots to your stew, it helps to kill that sad taste from the tomatoes. Right now you have to add in your vegetable oil. I'm adding in half a teaspoon of white pepper. If you love watery stew, I think you can add your chopped parsley and basil at this point. Let it cook for 10 minutes and your stew is ready but my stew is still a little bit watery. I'm going to let it cook again for 10, 20 minutes and we'll see what it looks like. So guys, just make sure you constantly stir your sauce. Since as we are cooking tomato sauce, we have to constantly stir it so that it should not get burned. And um, throughout, I have been cooking on medium heat. If you do not trust your pot, just go ahead and cook on low heat, but I think it's going to take more time because the total time I always use in cooking my chicken sauce is an hour. So I'm just adding in my chopped basil and parsley. I'll just let this cook for five minutes, making a total of one hour and our sauce is ready. So let's let this cook for five minutes and we're going to check that later. Ooh, look at that guys. Oh my God. I can't wait to eat. Our chicken stew is ready. I'm just going to turn off my heat and look at that deliciousness. Look at that, guys. So, you can have this with some boiled yams, you can have it with some boiled plantains, you can have it with fried ripe plantains that's dodo you can have it with some boiled rice i love chicken stew with boiled rice and there is no way i will have to finish cooking my stew before i start boiling my rice because the aroma that comes from the stew makes me to salivate and trust me guys the aroma that you get, you will not want to finish cooking the stew before you start boiling the rice because you might want to start, <laughs> you might want to just eat the stew like that without anything. So I went ahead and I boiled 
my rice look at that my rice is ready just 